Hi, you guys. My name is Sharita. I'm the most positive person you'll ever meet. I guarantee it. <laughs> guys this is part three and the final parts of my world's predictions video um if you guys did not check out my last two videos go ahead and do that they're fairly quick they're fairly short videos so go ahead and check those out this video is going to be all of the senior teams plus senior open level six senior open all girl other than that it's the rest of the senior teams if you guys are interested in the video go ahead and keep watching before I get started, make sure you click subscribe for new content whenever I post. And also do not forget to click the notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a video. So let's get started. Oh, and I am putting on makeup because I'm going out to dinner. Two birds, one stone. All right, so like I mentioned in my other videos, I'm making these predictions based off of absolutely nothing because we did not have a regular cheer season. And I don't know what these teams look like. So we're just gonna have fun. So we're starting with level six senior open all girl. Oh, and I'm only doing top three. I'm not doing like first, second, third. I'm just doing top three. We're just gonna like throw whatever at the wall and see what sticks. So first place I've got, so the top three teams I have are Spirit of Texas, Lady Rain, Stingray Apple, and Central Jersey All-Stars um, Bombshells. Those are teams that I am familiar with. Those are teams that have kind of been established. So yeah, we're just going to see how these teams are. All right, next division is level six senior small all girl. So for this division, I've got Ice Lady Lightning, Cheer Extreme SSX, and Rain Athletics Aqua. In this one, actually, I had to do some thinking because California All Stars Lady Bullets is in this division. And I know for a while they kind of fell off, but I think they're doing a lot better. But I don't even know because of, you know, because of the, the pandemic that we're in. I'm not even sure what, you know, what, like what they've been dealing with. So, so I don't know. That one was actually one that I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure. Actually, a lot of these senior divisions, because these are the divisions that, you know, started Worlds before the open teams. And so we've got a lot of teams that, you know, used to be in this division. Now they're in that division, but some of them are staying in the original divisions that they were in the beginning. So I don't, I don't know. We just gonna have to wait and see. Next division is level six senior medium co-ed. So for this, I've got Woodlands Elite Black Ops, California All-Star Black Ops, and Cheer Extreme Smoex. I feel like those, those three teams specifically, um, that's kind of, they've kind of had a hold on this division for the past couple years. I don't know if I see it changing anytime soon. I know a lot of, not a lot, but some people in that division have migrated over to like the open co-ed division or the international division. So uh, we'll see what happens, but I feel like those three teams have always been like top five within these past couple years at Worlds. So next is level six senior small co-ed. Now here we've got, I've got California All-Star Smoed, Brandon Senior Black, and Prodigy Midnight. It's a way that I'm not confident, but those are, those are the teams that I picked. Again, we shall see. Of course, um, Brandon Senior Black um, in California, I mean, these three teams in general have kind of always been on top, but it's always been like, Brandon Senior Black against Smoed or what against Smoed as if you can't like both teams at the same time. But um but I do know Brandon because they're they're from Florida. They've been competing a lot this season, whereas California All Stars has not because of uh you know, because of the states uh what's the word I'm looking for? you know, because of the state's laws, regulations, I think that's a better word. And then Prodigy, um, I'm assuming because they're also not from 
the West Coast or California, they I'm assuming they've been competing. And also their junior level six small co-ed black light, or did I make that up? They were amazing at Summit last week. They got second place. They were they were so so good. Prodigy's not new to this division, nor are they new, nor are they strangers to winning. I definitely see them in the top three. Next is level six senior medium all girl, Stingray Peach, Woodlands Elite Generals, and Maryland Twisters F5. Peach, I think, is the only team that has been in medium for a while now. Maryland Twisters came from large, all girl, and generals came from small. And I'm actually really excited to see generals. I, I've i always been a really big fan. Even when, well, when they were small, I was a fan of them. Um, Maryland Twisters F5 has always been my favorite team. I'm excited to see them in medium. But there are some other teams in that division where I'm like, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised about them either. I, oh, Lady Jags. That's who I'm thinking. So Lady Jags is another one where I'm like, they're a contender. And um, I think maybe it was like an East Celebrity Elite team. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a really, really good division. I'm really excited about the medium all-girl division. And then the next, the last two divisions. Now, here's the thing. The last two divisions are large all-girl and large co-ed. These used to be like the divisions you guys remember I mean now granted um for large all girl I mean at most there was like 10 in the in the division and then I mean I guess for both at most there were like 10 10 teams in the division and now for large all girl there's only four teams and in um large co-ed there's only three so it can and they're like the you know like the best of the best so it can go either way. Uh, when it comes to large all girl, the the team. Okay, so it's um, so it's Stingray Orange Senior, um, Cheer Extreme Senior Elite World Cup Shooting Stars in California, or and then and Cheer Athletics um, Panthers. The only team that I don't have um, in the top three are Panthers, and it's not because I think they're like the worst team. Or anything but I just I don't know like I had to pick three teams so I picked three teams uh, but it can literally go to anybody like if we're being completely honest and then for large co-ed there's only steel <clears throat> TGLC and cheetahs and just to make things interesting I think that's going to be the standings I think it's gonna go steel TGLC cheetahs you know I guess that's the only one that I could really make like an, a true prediction on because I was kind of forced to. Let me know what you guys think about these divisions. Tell me who you guys think are going to win. Let's talk about it in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Also, I want to figure out like we need to have some kind of watch party, y'all, because I'm tired of sitting in my house being like, yes. Oh, my God. Did you see that? But I'm not talking to anybody. How are we going to do this? I tried to do it two years ago, but I couldn't find a good way to, you know, like, do we, do we set up something on Twitter? How are we going to do this? Do, like, do I go on, what is it called? Twitch? Switch? I don't know. Clubhouse? Maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we'll talk about it on Clubhouse. I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and have a positive and love filled day. Bye.